Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. Today, we are starting The Legend of Korra, Book 3, Episode 1. So we finally finished Book 2, and it was quite interesting. I mean, Korra's now single again, which I think is for the best. Everyone's be single. Fair. Yeah, everyone's single. <laughs> I think it, that's for the best. Marco and Cora have very conflicting... Not Priorities at the moment, yeah. yeah. It's not completely conflicting, but to some degree it is. And then we've also got the spirits living with humans. So I wonder what that means for the world as we know it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know to what degree the spirits are living in the human world, but the portals are open Yeah, and it does allow now for that open gateway which has changed the dynamics of everything since the first Avatar. So that's a yeah. pretty big move. Overall, I think we enjoyed book two enough. I thought it was it was, it was good. It ended a little bit weak um, and a little bit sort of rushed. But for a first watch, I think we enjoyed the journey for the most part. I know... Look, I was happy with my cameos. <laughs> and some of the cameos were, were brilliant. So I know some of you guys probably returning. I know some people didn't want to watch book two and really hyped for book three. Book three seems to have a lot of hype around it so i am interested to see Why? what makes this book such a strong one and such a fan favorite another thing that's going to make this book really different or weird and almost a little bit sad for me is that cora at the moment has severed her connection to all the past avatar mm. now that I, I hope that gets corrected i personally don't love that because what made the avatar the avatar was that connection to their the past rest. lives yeah and i think we're really holding out for a bit more Korra and Aang connection. I'm going to be honest, that's probably been the weak point of Korra. Aang got a lot of time with Roku and even some time with some other Avatar, whereas Korra has had very brief interactions with Aang and there haven't been very many. So I want more of those. I do want more. And now that, and I was okay with them being far and few between, but I wanted more. Now that they've severed it, I'm hoping that there's some way to bring that back because there's no way that the Avatars now just reset if that's what they're going for, because then the next avatar that they're going to have, the new series that's coming out, I think next year or year after, is only going to have Korra in the list. So sort of like Korra is like the new one, which I don't know. I like the avatar. These we're talking like generations and generations of avatars. It's sort of like almost like eliminating history. Yeah, that was pretty sad. Like seeing them all just kind of leave existence, if that makes sense. But we did get to see Aang and Tenzin have an interaction, although it was an illusion. It was still somewhat fulfilling and it was quite beautiful for Tenzin to have that interaction with his father and really let go of that. I think there isn't too much to say other than starting book three. We are excited to find out where it's going. I do believe that book three and four were both cleared at the same time. So unlike yep. the other two, these will probably have a, Maybe some, a growing story. Some continuation. Yeah, a bit more consistency. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing where the characters go from here. I just feel like, you know, Cora done her spiritual side in book two. Airbending was book one. Obviously, she's got a lot of mastering, but there hasn't been a single ultimate enemy because yeah. of the production issues where we always knew the Fire Nation and the Fire Lord and, and you know, even Azula and stuff. Like that was the ultimate. Avatar. In Korra, there hasn't been a, a, a single big threat. Each season, we've dealt with the threat. So now we're sort of clean slating again, which is what makes this season uh, intriguing. Uh, cause I don't know at all what to expect or what's well, going to what come for us. what is this book called? Change. Okay. <laughs> Very vague. Yes. But, I mean, we do see a lot of change is happening, especially not having that connection with the rest of the avatars. So we'll see. To everyone on Patreon, thank you for supporting the channel. If you do want to join the Spartan and Pudgy family over there and get early access to several episodes ahead or the uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in our description. If you are watching on YouTube and you enjoyed today's reaction or if you're just excited for book three of The Legend of Korra, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Harmonic convergence created an energy shift, the likes of which has never been felt before. And after two weeks, Republic City continues to recover from Korra's epic battle with Unavatu. Okay, so this is set two weeks after then. Interesting. The spirits have come to call home. What other changes are in store for our city? Plenty, I'm sure. 
Oh, Janora can still have her friends. Oh, I'm Boomi. Boomi's friend, remember? If you don't want to wear the sweater I made you, that's fine. I'm sorry I got mad. <laughs> I love oh. Boomi, dude. I love Boomi. He's top three for sure. Can we go down now? Not that way. A little help. Uh, 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 oh! Holy shit, dude, he's lucky. What? Nah, he's dreaming, man. He's dreaming. I'm airbending. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. What happened there? Does he have, have access to bending now? With the, I don't know. No, why? Something's changed because of the... Must have. You changed the world. We're connected with the spirits again. The wilds are their home. I don't think the people who used to live here are as excited about it as you are. Yeah, but there are consequences with yeah, this damn. massive change. This is the middle of Republic City. Oh shit. Still don't have a way to get rid of the vines. This should be fun. She's using the glider. She's never used that before. Ah, Cora, Cora, Cora. Your approval ratings are now nearly as low as the avatars. They're low. There's a tree growing right through my office. You think I'm not doing everything I can to get rid of it? All right, now you're on top of everything, aren't ya? Listen, I've been trying everything I can think of to get rid of these vines, but- Why can't you fix this? Are the vines here to stay? Oh my God, the friggin' press. I'll just firebend them all. The Avatar has put us all in a very difficult position, but my administration- Oh, I'm sorry. Did I put you in a difficult position- This man sold out. Force of pure evil that was going to destroy the whole world? Maybe Tell him, Cora. Could have handled that. <laughs> this president's like, I don't like him at all, dude. He's a snake. He didn't help her. She saves him and then he sells her out. We'll figure something out. Easy for you to say. You don't have my poll numbers. 8% approval? Don't worry about the approval. I don't blame them. I should be able to fix this. I'm the Avatar. Since when does the Avatar need freaking poll numbers? I know. You are not going to believe what just happened. Where's your father? <laughs> That's his infamous line. I'll be so excited if he is a airbender. Okay, Boomjo and I had a little fight. I made him the sweater and he didn't seem to like it. And I'll admit it might need work, but it was my first attempt at knitting. So I was a little hurt. To get to the point is how I tell stories. Time for dinner, everyone. No, check this out. I can airbend. <laughs> Oh, I knew Aww. it would work. I really hope he can airbend. I'll be so excited for that. I know. Boomy says he airbended earlier, but he can't now. Oh, and I guess he's not very good at knitting either. I gotta say, I love <laughs> being a part of this family. You got the grumpy dad, the wacky uncle, the put upon mom, crazy kid. <laughs> <laughs> would be fun. He's staying at the police station. Still? I told him Tenzin invited us to stay here since our apartment is a vine habitat now. He probably didn't want to be around Asami and Cora. Fair enough. I understand. Maybe I can only do it when my life is in danger. Bolin, bend a giant boulder at me. Oh my god. He's going to be doing all sorts of weird shit now. Look alive, Uncle Boomy! Oh shit. Oh, he did. No, Tenzin did it. Oh, it is him. Unbelievable. Yes. Wait until I tell mom. She's going to love this. Oh. I didn't think it would happen so soon. Oh. That's <laughs> awesome. I'm so glad they got to find that straight away. Oh, my God. I'm happy. I thought Tenzin would have just done it so nothing yeah. broke. When you said that, my heart sang. I know. I'm, so glad, you, I'm glad you were wrong. I know. Me too. And all of a sudden, things started flying around. He was creating this storm, like... Like what? I think a lot of people well, are getting like bending now. Oh, no a way. A lot of airbenders. I know what I saw. He was freaking out, yelling, What's happening to me? Then he ran into the back room and locked himself in. Wow. Interesting. Okay. This is interesting. 
Get out here, sir, or I'm knocking this door down. One, two. Ha <laughs> 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 that's one way to open it. How confusing would this be for everyone? Do you think being in the spirit world during harmonic convergence could have given him bending? I suppose it's possible. Well, we know that's not it because of the other guy. I have been noticing a change in your aura lately. And you didn't tell me? <laughs> <laughs> Marker is going to give him the rundown. I got a call last night about a guy who just started airbending out of nowhere. I wonder why it's all happening. And specifically airbending. Where should we start? Oh, well, you know, you should you should leave it to the police. It's police business, you know. It's uh, official. This is awkward. Very awkward. And both these oh, ex-girlfriends are there. Tenzin just like slid on out of there. So as you were, ladies. He's so awkward, <laughs> damn. Oh my god. You're the avatar, master of all the elements. You should know how to drive. Besides, it's relaxing. It's definitely not relaxing. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's gonna cause a car accident. You ready? <laughs> I'm liking they're building their friendship a bit because they didn't interact much last book. While you were gone, I kind of kissed him. I'm sorry. <laughs> no wonder he's so nervous around us. <laughs> At least she's chilled about I it. When he was going I respect the response. Him, so. Respect all. Yeah, true. I thought you knew. I'm just kidding. I knew a long time ago. <laughs> well, whatever happened with Mako. I'm glad it hasn't come between us. So am I. <laughs> Poor Marco's like all, all, all <laughs> awkward now. This is nice. Vine, Vine! <laughs> oh my god, I'm not getting in the car with Cora anytime soon. Spirits, Vines? We're all the same. Seems like the Avatar would know that. Yeah, like the Vines are like living spirits in a way. That was my initial thought. It's like a dream, Dad. After 170 years, new airbenders. Yeah, it would be surreal. In a way, all airbenders are our family. Does that mean I have to share my room because I like my personal space? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's sassy. I hope we have enough for an army. I want to be a commander like Uncle Boomy. Oh, Milo, I'd love you as commander. Maybe there will be enough to fill the temples again. Oh, look how he's emotional. Tenzin, stop it. Airbender president? No, but I think <laughs> the new airbenders will need lots of help and guidance to understand what it means to be a part of our nation. Yeah. That's a big responsibility. Don't worry, Dad. We'll help you. Oh, I love, love how supportive they are. Such a nice little ear of airbenders. I'm, I hope he lasts and doesn't just take, get taken away. I know. Especially for Boomy's sake. I was alerted that you had a new plan to wipe out these noxious weeds, so I thought you'd want everyone to be here to watch. Or not. How much pressure? Just stand there. Silently! <laughs> President's no good, man. I have high hopes for him. He's just a generic dope. Gonna use Unalok's technique. Oh, maybe. It's very graceful. But I got a feeling it won't necessarily work. Because that was to tame, like, dark spirits. But we'll see. Oh, that music's beautiful, dude. Oh. Is it really it gonna is. work? It's working. Go in peace. Okay, interesting. That's going to be a full-time job. How soon can we expect public water service to resume? Had That's a feeling. What I was waiting for. And it's 10 times worse now. Oh my god, did it come back stronger? Oh shit. Look out! 
The whole Shit. building is falling. Oh, I love how they both earthbended. That's sick. This is kind of cool. She's really doing avatar duties now. Hang on. Poor girl, she's doing everything she can to help everyone. I think that could have gone better. <laughs> you don't say. Thank you, William. <laughs> Very helpful. Did I ruin everything by leaving the spirit portals open? You didn't ruin anything. You did what you thought was best for the world. And now things have changed. I love how Tenzin backs her now. It is nice. You're not the president, Cora. Your job isn't to fix the daily problems of every person in Republic City. Yeah, that's true. No matter what you do, some people are not going to be happy about it. Great. Tenzin, it's a nice I love lesson. Tenzin, dude. I love him. It's a very good lesson, just in general. What you did during Harmonic Convergence may have brought back the Air Nation. And that can only be good for restoring balance. That is yeah. the act of a great avatar. Oh, I hope they explain that though. And all these people depending on me. But I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing half the time. Neither does anyone else. Don't worry about it. The cops found the new airbender guy, but when they tried to bring him in, he ran away and climbed to the top of Kyoshi Bridge and he won't come down. Oh, shit. Why is this man so extra? Like, he has to go top of the thing. Stay back! I'm dangerous! He's just scared. But at the top of the bridge, like... I love that like, I can do whatever she wants. Like, no one says stop or anything. I love that. She's earned her respect. Although they don't like her, she's still got the respect. There are other airbenders and they want to help you. Actually, they're really excited to meet you. I don't want to be an airbender. Please, you're the avatar. Make it stop. Oh, she can probably take it away if she wants. True. But maybe not because of the severed connection. Cora's <laughs> got you, don't you worry, my friend. Oh, man. It's cool to see her being like proper avatar. This is Tenzin. He's going to help you. It is absolutely my pleasure to meet you, Da. I've never met a new airbender before. And he means that from the bottom of his heart, too. Why well, about Tenzin so sincere about this whole process? Actually, I just fell off a bridge, so I could use a fresh diaper right about now. Oh. <laughs> we have a crisis every other day now, thanks to you. Listen, I know you're having a tough time getting used to these changes, and I'm sorry for that. But you and everyone else are going to have to learn to live with it. Yep. Tell him how it is. Well, you know who's not here to stay? You. I order you to leave this city. You've caused nothing but trouble since you arrived. Who does oh this guy think he is, man? Don't worry. I was already leaving. The Avatar made this city. Oh, this no. president is just a dickhead the whole way through. There are new airbenders out there, and I'm going to find them and rebuild the Air Nation. Don't think I'm not going to. Oh, wow. Oh, a Tenzin Core adventure. Let's go. Let's go. Who else are we going to meet on this adventure? Who's in there? They're like imprisoned. Who the hell? You know the drill, Zaheer. Of course. Zaheer. Who is that? It is said that he unlocked the secret of weightlessness and became untethered from the earth, living his final 40 years without ever touching the ground. Is that how you plan to escape? With something you picked up from an old airbender children's story? Like all great children's tales, it contains truth within the myth. Uh, yeah, that's really good. I Instinct agree with that. Instinct is a lie told by a fearful body hoping to be wrong. Oh shit, man's gone full Plato. When you base your expectations only on what you see, you blind yourself to the possibilities of a new reality. Oh shit, so he's unlocked airbending. I was expecting that. And I love how I love how he's just so good at it already. Yeah, I know. He must have been good at something else. Shit, I wonder why this guy got locked up. 
Look at the prison he's on. Even if he wanted to escape. Interesting. So there's going to be good and bad people with bending now. Yeah, yeah. I didn't consider that. It's the dawning of a new age. The end of the White Lotus. And soon, the end of the Avatar. Yeah, classic. Everyone wants the end of the Avatar. Zaheer, I think his name is. Okay. Damn. Oh, shit. I'm pretty hyped already. Yeah, he seems pretty cool, to be fair. All right, that was a pretty cool first episode. Yeah. I love the idea of an airbending villain because that's never been done. Yes. True. I do have to give the writers of Korra a pat on the back. They have somehow managed to be very inventive every season, mm -hmm. playing off Korra elements from Avatar, but very original ways. And every yeah. time I've been surprised, even though season two or book two, didn't wrap up as strong as I would have liked. It was still very creative in the problem they yeah. created. And the way that's tied into this, I off one episode, I think that's fantastic. I think they do a really good job of starting off very mysterious and fresh. I think their strong suit hasn't been the ending, but I might eat my words by the end of this season or book. So. Agree, agree. The endings sometimes well, have always felt wrapped up quickly. Yeah. But the build up and the journey has been great. I'm excited for this one because if this is going to carry over to book four, yeah. I don't know if that's going to be the case or if they're going to go with a new villain, but if it is going to carry over one bigger story, then that'll be really fun. Yeah. I actually love the implementation of last book's consequences in this book's beginning, you know, like we are seeing the big changes and things like that. And then you know, Tenzin is coming in with his wisdom and he's more reassured in himself, you know. It was nice to see him again interact with Aang in a different way. And we just see how excited they are to have new airbenders. Yes, they probably didn't anticipate the complications exhibit A with this new villain. Yeah. But it is exciting to see, you know, how the world has changed and what that means for life as they knew it. I think what I like the most about this episode one is... Compared to episode one of book two, we really feel like everything we've been through is continuing on here. Yeah. Whereas in book two, I had personal some issues where Korra was the avatar at the end of book one and respect and so many things. And then inside of book two, everyone's treating her like a child again. She it doesn't almost know. Like a reset. Almost like a bit of a reset. Like they were trying to go back on it because, again, probably they wanted to drag that out but didn't know if they could. And then even... Sometimes earlier on, you know, Lin's character and Tenzin's character. And it just felt a bit like some things were retconned or had backtracked. Whereas this one really feels like that all Korra's progress has been accounted for. And we're coming in. She's really doing that with her duty. No one's getting it. Like Lin is respecting her. Tenzin's yeah. respecting her. It's like all this progress made, even her relationships with other characters like Asami or Marco or whatever. It's, it's feels like it's forged from everything they've been through, not like yeah. they're almost still on awkward terms or it's new or whatever. So I like that. Even Cora and Marco's relationship, like I didn't vibe the beginning. It was all back and forth and arguing and whatever. It did feel, I don't know, I didn't never connect with that. Whereas yeah. this this element of being awkward and stuff, okay, it, it, it seems more consistent with the pacing and the characters and the way they've been portrayed so far. Yeah. I like that. I will say though, that president... I don't know what's wrong with him, dude. The guy's a moron. Like, okay. he's this, actually worse than Tarlock. I like Tarlock more. This isn't his city. Yeah, okay, whatever you're the president of it, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, Aang created this city for a purpose and you're literally trampling on his descendant in a way. Like, ridiculous. No, he's no good. He's, no, he's, he's a non-bending scrub. He's somehow got this power. I throw him in the bin, just reset. Yeah. Tenzin for president. I got my vote. Or Boomy for president. Or Milo. Or Milo. Oh, yeah, Milo. <laughs> I do like, though, the new relationships forming and old ones sustaining, like Tenzin and Cora. It was really nice just to see them connect and have that trust in one another now. You know, obviously, book two, they had their struggles, and Cora wanted a bit more from Tenzin and vice versa. Whereas now they have this mutual respect and they let each other have space for one another and then also Asami and Korra like that's the new relationship that we haven't really explored that. I really yeah. did like that actually I felt like that was 
Cora was missing a having like a best bard that's a girl, you know, they can just vibe on a different wavelength. So far, she's been more closer to Broly and Marco, and I do feel like that Cora Asami chemistry and dynamic is there. Mm -hmm. And it's almost cool seeing them be a little duo, you know? Yeah, and they obviously have one thing in common, which is Marco. They're tasted men, yes. Yes, but they were able to laugh it off and, you know, not take it so seriously. So I really do like that perspective of their relationship. I love how Boomy is not an airbender initially, and we see how he struggled from his life, particularly last book. You know, we realized he struggled a lot. Mm -hmm. He tried to find his purpose, but constantly sort of, felt like he wasn't good enough and he wasn't as meaningful or that he didn't fulfill his father's legacy. Legacy, yeah. And then now he, by just random, you know, not random, but by the events that have happened, becomes an airbender. And I I'm know. like, I feel that's so cool because airbenders are already scarce and him and Tenzin have always not seen eye to eye. This is a great opportunity for them to come together mm -hmm. and not just make Boomy an airbender, which, you know, gives him a bit more potential as a character. Also, then tie that into what you said, which I hadn't considered. Oh, we assumed all the airbenders are just going to be good. Never considered what if the wrong kind of people became airbenders. Yeah. And it's like, holy shit. Now we've got an airbender villain. And that's never been done before. It was never possible before. So this is going to be a whole different ballgame. No one's going to have to fight an evil airbender yeah. as much as history as I know in this world. So that is cool. I'm really excited for this book. And I do love that element of Boomy getting new possibilities and new storylines. I just love his like soft heartedness and his compassion and you know, he's really trying with one of the spirits, like one of his boom June, like his Boom is my boy. I know. His new best friend. And yeah, it's pretty cool. And through even that small relationship he found out that he's an airbender, which is really meaningful, not only to his character but the rest of the world. So that's so cool. So cool. I'm excited. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to the first episode of book three. Make sure to give the video some love. If you did, get hyped, get excited, because I can just feel that this is going to be a big one. Yeah. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more. Let us know in the comments down below how shocked were you when this whole airbender scenario just popped up out of nowhere. And let us know if you're excited for us to make our way through book three. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you guys on our next reaction. See you guys.